Hi, I'm Mrs. Pasquan, and today I'd like to show you how to take your paper weaving and turn it into this cool gift box. You're obviously going to need two pieces of paper, and it's kind of a good idea to practice on your second piece first. So we're going to save the weaving, and we're going to practice with the piece that's going to become the bottom of the box. So here we go. Take a piece of paper and fold it in half, hamburger style. Make sure you line up your corners and really crease that edge. Open it up and fold both sides into the middle. It's gonna look like a set of double doors. You don't want the ends to overlap. You want them to meet exactly in the middle. All right, once you've got that, you're gonna open it up and fold it hot dog style. So fold it in half again line up those corners, do a really good job of creasing that fold, and then open it up and you're gonna make those double doors again. This time they're gonna be really long and skinny. Now those are the main folds of the box, except for the next one, which is the most complicated part. All right, are you ready? Each corner, you wanna do this sort of triangle fold. You want it to fold in like a triangle. So I'm gonna look where I'm holding my finger down and then I fold it back and crease it. And you see how that little piece ended up looking like a triangle? All right, I'm gonna do it again. Put my finger right where I want the fold to be, fold that side over. It's really hard to explain it, but you can see how it makes that triangle. There's a little extra flap of paper, and I'm gonna fold that flap around the edge, and that's gonna hold my side together. You can staple it or tape it later if you want to, but that's all you really need. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm on each corner, I'm gonna push in that triangle fold, get both sides folded down, fold that extra flap over, and now I have the bottom of my box. Just quickly, I'm gonna grab a stapler and make sure that I hold that tab down, and then I'll show you how it fits into the lid. So now the bottom of your box should be all set, and it's gonna be time to try the same folding process with your paper weaving. If I were you, I would go back to the beginning of the video and follow along again and see if you could do that same folding process, but this time with your paper weaving. And there you have a beautiful gift box to give to somebody special. So now it's your turn. Good luck with that crazy triangle fold, but don't worry, I know you can do it. 